got the Pro Boat Velez 29 at the park pond. All right, today we're going to be running the Velez on 100C, 5000 Spectrum packs, and 5050C packs to start off with. Uh, we're going to be trying out rudder blades, three different rudder blades on the boat, all out at the pond in one video. We're going to try the stock rudder blade, which is like a wedge style rudder blade. It's straight with no taper and kind of thick. All right, the boat kind of has a tendency to uh, want to roll in a corner. Okay, so I'm trying to, to fix that. I'm trying to fix it. I've also got a Guinness rudder and a U1 rudder, Aquacraft rudder. All right, both of these are a little thinner in thickness than the stock rudder. This one's quite a bit wider and quite a bit shorter than the stock rudder. I'll show you all three of them laid out here in a second. Uh, the Guinness rudder is quite a bit longer than all three of the rudders, thinner than all three of the rudders, and has a gradual taper on both sides, front, the leading edge and the trailing edge of the rudder. Uh, rudders actually play a big part in the way the boat turns, how the boat turns, and the stability of a boat, especially a catamaran. Uh, guys used to tune their boats with rudder alone. Before turn fins, for monos, and all that, they would use rudder blades to tune their boat. Okay, so that's basically what I'm gonna be doing today. Uh, once I figure out which rudder's best suited for the boat, I will modify the rudder so we can start canting the rudder forward, cant the rudder back, and get different ride characteristics in a turn. Okay, with your rudder canted forward in a turn, it'll keep the bow down, the front of the boat down in a turn. With your rudder canted back, it'll keep the bow up in a turn. All right, the front of the boat up in a turn. Um, I've noticed when it, with a rudder canted forward in a straight, it'll also help keep the bow down. I actually had to modify it, file some off the leading edge up here so it fits and drilled a new hole. So let's get to it. Not going to test speed or nothing, just going to kind of watch how the boat performs and handles. Maybe this will help you guys out with your Velez. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it'll help you out with another boat. Who knows? Who knows? So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's see how it does here. So when I turn it, it it's actually turning like it should. All right, so you see that when I went around the corner, it wanted to keep turning after I had let off the after I had let off the the wheel. It wanted to keep turning. It's almost like See, it, over, it oversteers, I guess is the best way to put it. Yeah, see, a little bit tippy, a little bit tippy in a turn. So, <clears throat> while I still have quite a bit of juice left, I want to put that Aquacraft rudder on because I want to do quite a bit of testing. All right, so, uh, so you guys can see that the leading edge of the rudder is like right under the pivot point on the boat. So that should allow uh, the boat to be a little bit more responsive when the leading edge is like in line with the pivot point. It'll be a little more responsive, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm just, uh, I'm just basically guessing here, you know? That's why I, I throw them on the boat and test it. I test my theory, I test my theory out. You know, so I need to check for water cooling because the pickup's on the wrong side. It's actually really high, but it should pick up water. All right, damn, not quite as tippy. Okay. Oh wow, yeah. So it would have it, it would have flipped all the way over uh, with the other rudder on. So let's see how it does at speed up on plane. Oh yeah, so it's actually, it's actually more responsive than the last rudder. The last rudder tended to oversteer uh, at, at the end of the turn. With this rudder, it's actually oversteering into the turn. You got me? So far, that's what I noticed, so far. 
it's keeping it it's keeping it level a catamaran don't want it don't really tip over on its side like a mono hull at speed you know a mono hull it'll actually tip in a corner in like you know in the turn it'll bank in a turn a catamaran they they tend to stay flat in the turn that's why i'm thinking a longer rudder or a shorter rudder would be better oh wow you see that it over like it, it just spun out basically so into the turn this one right here wants to oversteer into a turn see that see that it did it again very sensitive and i've got my expo turned down and my 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 travel turned down as well I was actually had, I kind of had high hopes for this rudder, to be honest with you. Very, very, very sensitive. Very sensitive. I got water cooling coming out. Oh, yep, you see that? I barely even, barely even like uh, got on the, t on, the, on the wheel there and it spun out. I did that on purpose. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Thinking the longer Guinness rudder might be a ticket. I really do. It actually turns good. It just, oh, like, very, very sensitive into the corner. You see that? Very sensitive. More sensitive than the stock rudder because the stock rudder is a straight blade. This one comes out more in line with the pivot point on the rudder bracket you know what i'm saying so it's actually getting more bite with the with a smaller amount of input but in a turn in the turn it actually it actually works pretty good it's just sensitive and it's almost the rudder that i'd consider putting on the boat I have to turn down my my expo and, and mess around with the with the steering curve you know <laughs> take off the short rudder and put the long guinness rudder on you know like comment subscribe if you guys like content like this i do test like this uh pretty often you know pretty often so i like this rudder blade on it i think the longer rudder blade helps it hook and it kind of acts as a vertical stabilizer in a turn you know and I, it don't let the boat tip quite as bad so let's check it out here all right guinness rudder guinness rudder yeah it's a little more controllable a lot more controllable A lot more controllable. All right, that's a battery. So I took off the Oxteen High Rake 42 and put a Low Rake 4214 on. Uh, my temps were in the 160s, and I put one 100C packs in. So I, I don't want to burn up nothing. I, I should have kept that prop on, but we did get to see it run a while ago, and it's actually I like it better. I like it better for some reason. It still flips, you know. This is my favorite prop on this boat. Keeps the temperatures down, and it's fast. All right. So it's actually keeping the boat down. All right, let's do a low-speed turn. All right, normally that boat would tip all the way over in a low speed turn like that. You see what it's doing? It's wanting the tip and then the rudder is actually pulling it back down. You guys see that? You see how it's wanting the tip? And then, and then it's like pulling it back down. Like the other rudders, it would just tip over, you know? The Aquacraft rudder, it was so sensitive that you could counteract the tip because the rudder was like in line with the pivot point. This one is too, but it's longer. So you get the, the response and the stability. 
with their longer rudder. So let's let's do a few laps. I'm gonna take it easy because I had some high temps. Yeah. It's actually wanting to bank over on that one sponson. Yeah. Yeah, you see that? Look at that. It wants to tip, but it won't. You guys see that? It's wanting to tip over, but it won't freaking tip. Nice. Let's try it out. Let's see how that does with the CG moved back. Because CG, it also helps you in a turn. Oh, yeah. It's actually keeping the boat planted. It's not wanting to come up on one spot. Some. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Little oversteer right there. Woo! Might need to move my battery forward just a little bit more. Yeah, it's like hooking pretty good. Oh! Did it land it? Nice. So it caught an edge that time. So, geez, the short rudder actually actually seems like it did better than this rudder but this one's actually holding the boat down pretty good yes yeah, but at low speed it's really freaking holding it down look at that you guys see that those of you who have this boat you know what i'm talking about oversteer into the corner yeah I like this rudder better let's see how it does at speed it's fast. It's fast. So out of all three rudders, I think I like the Guinness rudder the most. For some reason, it don't seem as tippy and low end. And I like the way the boat handles with the longer rudder on. A little more predictable. I did tip it over a couple times. But uh, I'm not really used to running this boat, ovals. That's why I'm out here today, just kind of feeling the boat out. Um, I've been running this boat like straight away and it's really, it's really what I'm gonna build this boat to do, straight away passes. I'm not con too concerned about the handling at low speed or the oval handling. I really want the best speed at high, high end, high end speed. I'm gonna start doing some speed runs with it here shortly, but um, I really like this Guinness rudder on the boat, man. A little bit of work to get it to work. Oh, there's our battery. All right, well, I hope this helped you guys out, man. I, you know, I put a lot of time and effort into this video. Uh, I really, uh, I really did it for my own personal gain, but I think it will help you guys out as well. You know, um, boats are tuned with rudder, rudders. Uh, traditionally you know so we got this 42 14 on the boat my temps were 160 with the high rake look at that 112 with the with the 42 14 oxygen prop i like this prop on the boat you guys i do i really do um the uh the handling with the guinness rudder it was it was pretty good um i'm not telling you guys to go out and get a guinness rudder if you have one laying around from an old guinness build or something Try it out on your on your Velez. All you gotta do is drill one hole and a little bit of filing. Um, I did this blueprint job hoping that would help in the, with the tip, and it actually did. It actually kind of helped. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you liked the video. Um, the 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 shorter rudder actually was the most sensitive into the corner. Okay, this one was most sensitive out of the corner and at low speed uh, had a tip. This one right here was actually, I would say, to be honest with you, 
I like the shorter rudder on this boat. Um, I'm gonna keep the Guinness rudder on the boat because it just works, okay? But the shorter rudder actually handled the best. It's still tipped. All of them tipped the boat. All of them tipped if, you know, if you weren't paying attention to what you were doing. They all they all tended to tip the boat. But um, hopefully this helps you guys out. Hope it helps you guys out. Thanks for watching. Big B with Ironclad RC, channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything. See you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good, good.